Season 5 is coming, and I'm very excited for this season in particular because this should be quite a big meta shift for Black Clover Mobile, and there should be a lot of stuff in this season. I personally am a big fan of the odd seasons because the odd seasons do not include festivals and that means they are 20 day seasons we get pretty much almost the same amount of content a bit less in less time right so it basically means there's more content and it's just better right we get to the next season much quicker so yes season 5 will be 20 days and as for when it is coming out if we check in game right now we could see that the season ends or basically these banners end in five days and 10 hours so we will be getting this Thursday morning in all servers at the same time. Um, it doesn't, for new seasons, it's always at the same time because a maintenance is held. For pickups, there's no maintenance, so they could release it. It's scheduled times, like um, whenever the uh, reset is. But for this, it's going to be um, three hours after reset on US. So it should be like opening at 6 or 7 a.m. EST on Thursday. Okay, so that's basically it. Now, what is good to know? is that Gulduri and Vero should be on the next seasonal banner. So, I mean, for people who weren't sure, like, if they just didn't, if they, if they wanted to summon but didn't, well, congrats. Now you might be able to get them if you just want it for collection purposes on the season five banner. So, of course, um, this is going to be in, like, I mean, less than six days. That's insane. Um, so, the units, Magna and Charlotte. By the way, we're going to have a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, we're also going to mention some leaks. So, just uh, stay out for that. But basically, Magna and Charlotte are going to be the seasonals. It's the first ceremony seasons. And I find that they are some very, very good seasonals. Um, it is very unfortunate for Magna, but let's talk about it. First of all, Charlotte introducing... I'm just going to quickly go over their kits. Not going to be a should you summon. Um, she is introducing a 54% damage reduction meta, where now you're able to stack damage reduction way easier. You put like her and William together and that's GG. So that's the first thing, right? So she's going to be doing just insane stuff. Amazing support, giving a bunch of barriers. Amazing unit, right? She is the better one out of the two. If you're wanting to know who to pick for gateway, just always pick Charlotte. Now Magna is a straight damage dealer and with burn units can be very, very good. But the problem is he is a glass cannon. And what's going to be very unfortunate is that he will be good at first. And then Transcendence comes out and he gets his ass slapped, right? So that's going to be the main thing. Um, he is very strong because at Duke 2, he could stun everyone who has a burn. And if there's an AoE burn dealer, well, I mean, he's stunning anyone who he hits. And if there's multiple ways to use him. You could combo, turn one, that's a stun. And then he goes again with his ult, that's another stun. And if he kills, well, he gets an extra turn and stuns someone else. So he could get up to three people basically disabled, which, I mean, is very strong. Um, Very, very strong. So it's just a matter of when his transcendence coming out is going to be how long he lasts. But my guess is very soon after because Charlotte introduces just a meta that's so toxic and we get to reach new heights for damage reduction, which are going to be very scary. So, I mean, in general, we do not really want uh, no transcendence because people, uh, guys, I know people are going to hate transcendence. It's a bad thing. But staying with the 90% damage reduction meta without transcendence is even worse. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This is something I played on JP, uh, JP just a while and it was very long games, right? Just Charlotte made them super long, right? And even with Transcendent, Charlotte could make it very long if you start stacking up a bunch of these buffs. And especially with how whale meta especially is on global, it's going to be insane, right? That is the first thing that I did uh, want to mention is the new units. Now, besides that, I do want to quickly say... That this is very something very small, but I do want to know is that Yami and Luck, considering that we, I, I'm just going to say, it, we are going to be getting Vanessa in Season 5. Don't tell me how I know, but we are going to be getting Vanessa in Season 5, the Summer Vanessa. This unit is also going to be meta-changing, so this is going to be quite insane. Um, she provides protection, which means that your DPS cannot be targeted for two turns. And I mean, Julius is going to be going crazy with Vanessa for a little bit until Mario Lona comes out. So there is that. And she's a free unit, which makes her so much better. Um, what I do want to say is that considering that the summer seasonals are going to be basically like done with the free ones, we might get Yami and Luck in the future. Nothing confirmed. Like I say, it's conjecture. But it is a theory of mine because these are like kind of weak seasonals in PvP. And for PvE, it doesn't seem like they really care to release. And even at that, even at that, even if they're like okay seasonals, they gave us Vanessa for free. They're giving us Vanessa for free. She is at the point where she's going to release on global, going to be a top five unit. Maybe top 10. Like I'm just like speaking out of my ass a bit, but she is going to be a meta changing unit. So if they're giving her for free, why wouldn't they give these two when they're especially low? They were low sales on uh, JP, I'm not going to lie. Super unhyped season besides Yami. Yami was very hyped, but bad unit. So people are just going to pick him and then just skip luck. 
So they could just give it for free either way, right? It doesn't really change much and it lets them catch up. So that's the first thing I did want to mention. I think this would be very good. People would be extremely happy with the game if they gave this Yami for free. So I just wanted to kind of point that out. Now, next up, let's go to Discord real quick. So there's a couple things I do want to talk about. First off, Vanilla found this, which is like a custom pickup for Season 5. Now, this to me doesn't really say anything. This is more so something that was probably put from JP. Because we've had something of the sort, obviously, for the old Season uh, 4. Let me try to find it. I think it should be very close by. Actually, I lied. They changed how it looked a bit. Um, usually they don't have this plus part, but to me, this is still something that, I mean, JP didn't even get these guys as a rerun yet. So I just, I, I don't really think they're going to do this as a like custom pickup summon. Um, we're going to have to see how exactly this plays out. But to me, um, this is something more so in the future. So don't worry about this yet. This is not something that should be global related, more so JP related. So maybe if you guys are JP players and you don't have Charlotte, it would be a good time to pick up Charlotte. So there's obviously the season five paid. So of course we know they're coming. And then after we have a Fauna paid banner. Um, because of the fact they're only showing Fauna, to me, this shows that Fauna and Witch Queen are coming in two different times. Because we already had, like, Witch Queen shown here, and also Witch Queen packs, which is pretty cool. Um, and considering that Witch Queen had her own packs, and then Fauna is here, this basically screams that they're gonna be basically different weeks, maybe, like, a week apart. So, Season 5 is only, um... 20 days. But we could still get Season 5, then a week later, Witch Queen or Fauna, then a week later, um, Fauna. So I just want to mention that we might get paid banners for both, hopefully, because Witch Queen is a unit that people, I, I think a lot of whales, if they could just get in and get out, would be not bad. And obviously, just having a step-up banner for Witch Queen would, would probably make them more money. Would it? I mean, it would make them more money with, like, the uh, dolphins, but the whales, I mean, doesn't really change too much, I guess. So there, there is that to mention. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing. It does seem like Fauna and Witch Queen are both going to be coming gonna be a pretty cool season um personally i don't think you should summon for fauna but i'm gonna make another video of that in the future i just don't think it's important to talk about right now because we don't know 100 percent when fauna is coming out uh, but obviously the next chapter is revolving around hatred fauna so i mean beautiful cutscenes too by the way so that's gonna be pretty good um for sure now next thing vanilla did just post this so i'm gonna mention it right now is that um they're changing the custom pickup summon basically right now we have the very uh very mid type of banner that's going to be um, where you could put something, right? Put a skill page or character. And then, I mean, you could get it right up at 1% and 0.68. Now for the skill page, it's kind of mid. I honestly kind of like this where what it's saying is that you'll be able to choose three characters from the general pool, pickups included, obviously, with their skill pages. The, this should replace the old pickup summon. Okay, on both global and JP. Now, when they say with their skill pages, I'm guessing what Vanilla means is she's saying that like you could choose either the skill pages or the pickups. If it's both together in a bundle, that would be very interesting. Uh, but being able to feature three, I think is a lot better than this current global system, but is worse than the JP system because on JP, you're able to choose one skill page and that's the only skill page you could get. So for skill pages, it's a bit different, but SSR skill page you could get. You could get obviously other skill pages, but I'm saying like if you choose an SSR skill page for the pickup, for the custom pickup, then that's the only one you get. We're on global, it's only 0.68 chance and you have a higher chance to get other skill pages than the featured, right? Like combined, combined. So that's something that I uh, think is also kind of like, kind of important uh, to mention. But overall, I'd say that um, we're gonna leave this season kind of like, it's gonna be dry, but the next season we should get a good amount of stuff. And maybe they're going to bring back the summer event and they're going to like give us Vanessa that way alongside this. I would really hope so. I don't know if they'd also give this, but if they do, I mean, it wouldn't be bad. Also, because like Seraph was kind of annoyed that, I mean, he had to, he doesn't have a 100% skill page uh, collection because of this stupid uh, event skill page that we got on JP from the summer event. Um, but obviously on uh, global, we got Asta. So maybe with Vanessa, they're going to give out this um, skill page. Because if you, if there's a debuff on the enemy and you attack that person, you are 100% chance to taunt them, um, which is very insane, right? Uh, I, I just like, damn, that, that, I mean, that, it's pretty toxic, right? You could put this on anyone. So like now and in the future, it's just going to be a very reliable skill page if you just need something uh, to put on it. I'll probably showcase it if we do get it before, but I, I need co confirmation, but I don't know if it's coming. Obviously, I don't even know if the summer event's coming. I hope not because at the same time, it's just a rerun and people are going to be a bit pissed. But at the same time, if they do fix it at least a bit, then I mean, that is something kind of good. Now, season five, um, hope I, I'm going to guess it's going to also have the Bethel Gigas raid, the, the Golem raid, which is going to be a character dupe, which means next, seasons we're get, uh, next season, we're going to be getting two character dupes, which... You know, people are going to be... Where are the character dupes? Do I have any? 
oh yes we're gonna get two character dupes including um the monthly so that's gonna be pretty good i don't think people can really complain about that um but then we get to after that we get into some crazy times now besides just that if we check it right um how do, okay let me pull up display capture all right so this is the one of the only times you're really gonna see um the bottom of this but uh basically if we check this out right uh, the game came out November, where is it? November 30th, right? Right here. So if we go and count 100 days, right? So we could go um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 84, 91, 98. So the 100 day celebration is going to be during, uh, it, it's literally starting essentially two days after season five. So I guess they're just going to count it as if it was the beginning of season five. So we might get some very special things in relation to the 100 day anniversary um, or celebration, not anniversary, I guess. Um, let me go to my news Twitter and search this up too. So um, if we go 100 day on JP, we actually got some pretty interesting things. So 100, let me just put 100 and see what pops up. I, Cause we got like three or four free multis, which was quite insane. I don't know where it would be exactly. Okay, so they gave out a multi, just like that, right? First of all. Um, and then they also had two free multis from codes. I I just, I, I can't. Did I not post it? Uh, code? I, I don't know. It's, uh, maybe if I search up code and then I go from this way, it's probably going to be there if we're being honest. But uh, we got like three, I believe. Let me try to find it. All right, yeah, yeah, you could, uh, let me let me go back to how I had it before. You can see here that uh, basically they gave a code that gave um, a lot of good stuff, right? Gave a bunch of re rewards. We got a free multi here and then two free multis from login. So in total, we gave three free multis for doing nothing, which was insanely good, plus other rewards, as we can see on top here. Um, so yeah, no, my expectations is that for season five, we'll, we will get the 100-day celebration too. And with that, we might get some other special stuff. So I think it's all important to kind of uh, mention. And I mean, yeah, you guys should have been saving. Um, Good Lady and Veto were free skip. You guys had over two weeks, essentially, unless you really were feasting on Black. Like you got, if you got shafted and you had to really go in on Black Asta, then I kind of understand. But um, yeah, no, I, I genuinely think that you guys should have enough. Now, um, I don't really think you should summon on Season 5, by the way. The only thing in Season 5 you might want to summon on is Witch Queen. So I hope you do get lucky on Witch Queen. But I'll go more into that in another video. I do have some other videos to make. A lot more, actually. I'm very much enjoying JP right now. I don't know what it is. Um, I, I think it's a mix of JP actually getting a half-decent update. And then also me being very happy with this this dev note right the dev note to me was very good um they basically said we're sorry right they also told us there's new management i think it was in this section if i got it right oh my god no i i got it wrong i'm stupid all right um where was it was it the first line uh okay it was the first line whoops uh basically saying that mr jayung Choi. Uh, is, is, is he basically said that he's working on breakers now which in this case is good because we uh, jp has not really been cooking for the past while but it seems like he has he knows what he wants to do so anyway um yeah fun stuff charlotte magna are coming i'm gonna make a dedicated video on them soon going over the builds and all that very excited for them and i hope to see you guys soon peace